Hi guys, this is my May favourite. I actually can't quite believe how quickly these months are going. But anyway, we're here now and let's get straight into my May favourites. Now my favourites for this month are slightly all over the place, they're not all makeup or hair products or anything like that, it's just kind of a real combination of lots of different things that I've really enjoyed this month. So I'll start off with the makeup and I'll start off with the high end products that I've treated myself to since I have finished uni. So the first two products I've got is a MAC lipstick and a MAC lip liner. Now the lipstick is the one that I'm wearing, I've worn it in a previous video as well, it's the colour Vegas Vault and it's amplified. So it's not a matte lipstick which is what I would normally go for but actually it's not too glossy either and it kind of dries with an almost matte finish but just with that little bit of moisture to it just so it's, it applies really nicely and I just think the colour is perfect for summer. So I bought this primarily for my holiday along with the lip liner as well. This is in the colour Lasting Sensation and these are really really beautiful together and I'm really looking forward to wearing this on holiday. So the next product that I bought from MAC is a product that I am just slightly in love with. I absolutely love this product. I've been looking for a shimmery powder for so long and I haven't found one that I found was like shimmery enough and worked nicely with bronzer but this is amazing and I know the camera just, just does not even do this justice but this is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the colour Soft and Gentle. Now this is just amazing. I can't even tell you how nice this looks in person. It really just adds like a really nice glow to the skin. I'm just using it on my cheekbones here and yeah I just think it's really beautiful and I've been using it with the Real Techniques powder brush and I think this works really really well with it just like a real soft coverage of it and yeah it's just really glittery, it's summery and it's not too bright but it works really really nice with the bronzer but yeah amazing product I mean it's a high end I think it was about £20 but I would recommend this to anyone I have not been able to find a drugstore high street alternative to this but if anybody does know one let me know I'd love to try it out but I just haven't found anything as amazing as this and I really love it so my next high end product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. It's an American brand and it's an eyebrow kind of gel, wax, I'd say in between the two. I've got it on my eyebrows now. This is what I was saying is the dupe for the Sleek palette that I did the tutorial on. And I think that's a brilliant dupe for, you know, if you're on a budget. This is about £16, so it's quite pricey, but I have been using this now for a couple of months on and off and there's barely anything gone. I just think the colour is perfect for my eyebrows. The Sleek palette colour is a slightly too dark for me, but they only do it in the limited colours, whereas this you can get, I think there's a range of about nine colours you can get. And I would definitely say for me, for someone who loves doing my eyebrows and I'm happy to spend the money on them then I would definitely recommend this if you're not someone that's that bothered about your eyebrows then definitely go and try the sleep palette instead but yeah I've just been absolutely loving this the color is perfect the consistency is amazing and it's not too heavy either and you can kind of get that gradient feel um, to your eyebrows to the colors like starting off quite light and then coming quite dark towards the tail but yeah loving this at the moment it is a perfect product for my eyebrows now on to high street makeup I always wear the MAC Studio Fix Fluid foundation because I find that it's a really thick coverage for me which is what I like and I've just used it all the time because I used to wear I think it was a Max Factor foundation which was quite a cheap high street foundation and it made me break out a little bit so since then I've kind of been put off buying high street foundation but I thought I'd try this this is the Rimmel wake me up foundation I've seen a couple of people talking about this on YouTube and other things like that and I got this in the color soft beige I think since trying this I've actually been wearing this every day now 
for the past, I'd say, two weeks. And I think it's a really nice coverage for kind of every day. So it's not too thick at all. So it's a really nice, like, soft coverage. It's a really, really nice colour for me. And it is, it does give you that kind of glow to your face rather than caked on foundation. I've also been wearing this as a kind of base foundation when I go out. And I've then been applying my MAC foundation over the top just to give me that glow underneath and then the thicker coverage with the MAC. But I think if you're looking for a new foundation and you don't like too much of a thick coverage, then this would be perfect. And it's high street, you can get it in boots, super drug, it's rimmel. I definitely recommend this for someone who wants lesser coverage, but still that kind of radiant glow, almost like holiday skin. So I think that's all the actual makeup that I've bought. But I'm now going to go on to kind of something a bit makeup y, and that's these Ilya eyelashes. Now, I struggle with eyelashes, which is such a weird thing, but I really struggle because they're always so long in width, and my eyes are so tiny, I really struggle to find eyelashes that will fit the length of my eyes. Whenever I buy them, I end up having to cut off bits of the eyelash off either side, and then it loses its shape and the way it looks, and it doesn't quite look right anymore, and it's just a bit of a faff having to cut them. So I have found these Ilya Petite 107. Now I normally wouldn't wear 107 normally, I'd normally wear 140 for a bit of a fuller lash feel. But this is the only one that I can find in the Petite range and honestly it's made me want just to wear the 107 just because they are so much easier to wear because I don't have to cut them. So if you're someone who has smaller eyes and you'd struggle with eyelashes having to cut them, I would definitely try these because it has absolutely changed my eyelash going out routine and I don't have to faff about cutting them or anything. And yeah, I wore these in my last video, um, my makeup routine one. So if you want to see what they look like on, check out that video and I'm wearing them in that. So I've taken the little plastic thing from inside and I've worn these twice now and they are still in perfect condition but this is the kind of shape to them. I would say with eyelashes, what well, I would just for a little recommendation, if you're gonna wear eyelashes, I find that they can be quite expensive, they're not on offer and you can't get like a three for two or something. But what I would say is when you wear eyelashes, try not to coat them too much in mascara and as soon as you take them off try and peel the glue off of the lash line part because then you can really easily wear them again i mean i've had pairs of eyelashes before and i've worn them like six seven eight times before they've got quite bad and i've had to throw them away but i think with eyelashes don't think that they're just a one-off where you can really if you take care of them you can really reuse them and wear them again so that's all my beauty products. I'll quickly go on to some clothes that I bought. Now I do struggle loads with clothes and I find that New Look do an amazing petite range, just really amazing and I really wanted to get one of the waistcoats, the long versions and every time I tried them on I looked absolutely ridiculous in them. They were so long. I know they're meant to be long but these were just way too long. I found this in New Look. It's a kind of light pink salmon-y colour and I absolutely love it. It's not like a smart material, it's quite a casual material, but the kind of collar makes it feel really smart. And I wore this out the other night. I mean, I still, I don't think I could wear this without heels because it is still long, but not too long that it looks awful. Um, and I've just, I wore that with a pair of wedges that I have that are actually pretty much the same colour as this with black jeans and a white cami and I thought it looked really nice and yeah so I was really pleased with that I was really happy with the length so another product that I really struggled to buy is obviously jeans and New Look only do two pairs of jeans in the 26 inch leg which is the perfect length for me and I have both those pairs but I really wanted a white pair of jeans I tried on the New Look normal petite white jeans they were still really long so i went to the next best place which is the kids section so happy with these jeans i've been looking for a pair of white ripped jeans for so long and i managed to find them in the kids section now they've got the rip there in the knee they are knee slash ankle grazers so even better they were 
£19.99, so £20 for a pair of jeans. And honestly, they are perfect. If anything, they are almost like ankle swingers on me, which is what I like. So I'm 4 foot 10 and I got these in age age 13, which is slightly embarrassing, but it's fine. And while I was looking in the kids section, I also found a top which I thought was really nice. Now, I don't know if people can notice through my videos with what I wear, but I always wear really dark colours. I'm just drawn to blacks and greys and navies and stuff like that. But I found this top and I thought it was perfect for summer. It's kind of this high neck thing and it's this bluey colour, which is the same colour as that nail polish that I bought in, I think it must have been my last favourites. And it's kind of got this um, scalloped edge, I think it's called, where it's bit curly and I just thought the colour was really nice it was a kind of cropped length and I tried it on with the white jeans and it looked really really nice so loved those three things from New Look I had a bit of a spend up so my next product that I'd like to talk about is a t-shirt that my boyfriend bought me for to say well done for finishing uni done my three years and I wish I'd washed it but I haven't but I can't not talk about it because it is amazing and if you like Game of Thrones, then I think you'll love this. So, <laughs> if you don't watch Game of Thrones, then maybe just switch off the video now because the last two things are about Game of Thrones. But anyway, and if you've watched my previous pug video, if you haven't, go and check it out. You can see how weird I am and how much I love pugs. But this is a top with a pug on it. And it, on the bottom it says, you know nothing, pug snow. So if you watch Game of Thrones, you'll know that famous line, you know, you know nothing Jon Snow, but it's been replaced with a pug. Now this top is just amazing, I love it, it's my two favourite things, Game of Thrones and pugs, all rolled into one, amazing. And my last product, my last thing that I want to talk about in this video is a book. I've absolutely been loving Game of Thrones the series, so I thought I'd go out and buy all seven books. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen. If you don't, I'll put the links down below for my Instagram, but I went out to Asda and I bought all seven Game of Thrones books because I thought I finished uni now, I'll probably have a little bit of time to do some reading because I love reading books but I never have time to do it so I thought I'd get this and then ready a couple for my holiday and yeah just absolutely loving it I don't think I'm going to struggle to get my way through all seven of these pretty quickly that's the end of my favourites video I think I've kind of rushed through them but I thought I've got quite a few things I wanted to get them all in without being too boring and going on about them if there's any products that you want to know anything more about then just comment below and anything you want to know I'll answer if you've got any ideas for videos you want me to do in the future, then comment them below as well because I'm always open to doing new videos and things. I think my next video will be talking about the brush set that I got sent from La Roque, which they sent me a really long time ago, but with brush sets, I think you really have to use them for a couple of weeks to really get to grips with them. I'd, and I'd hate to have given a bad review of them so that will be my next video and I'll be talking about them. They're a really affordable brush set. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up if you have and please subscribe to my channel. I've finally gone over 100 subscribers which is absolutely amazing. I can't tell you how thankful I am for everyone that's taken the time to subscribe to my tiny little YouTube channel but it really does mean a lot. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.